it's Yomi and welcome back to my channel so now I'm waiting for the airport bus but I'm not gonna tell you why now let's go okay so something very awkward just happened to me because I forgot that my team money card have not enough money for me to take the airport bus and I forgot to put the money in so when I get on the airport bus you know like I don't know how to do but I have to take this bus or I'll be late for the airplane I was thinking that I can transfer my money through my cell phone and borrow the money from the others people very lucky she's a Taiwanese so she can speak Chinese and I asked her that if she can borrow me some money so I'll give her back the money when I arrive in airport or I'll transfer the money to her when I go back to Taiwan with my Taiwan's account and she said okay fine then I'll lend you the money when I arrive in the airport I asked her to wait for me for a while because I'm gonna go pick up my money and give it back to her but she just keeps saying that no it's fine it's it's a, just a little help and you don't have to give me back the money so I feel like oh my god why is she so sweet and I just feel very thanks for is willing to borrow me the money because nowadays people won't help me with this yeah so I just get inside the airport and I just give her back the money and very lucky she's sitting on the chair and packing her stuff oh yeah anyway if she is like if she have any chance to watch my video I wanted to say that thank you so much so now I'm finally settled and I'm going to tell you about why am I going back to Taiwan since my school just start for three weeks you know that the end of the September it's actually moon festival and it's kind of a big holiday in Taiwan and Korea and if in Korea like Korean people will all go back to their hometown and celebrating with their family so Seoul basically will become a little bit empty like an empty city when it's in moon festival since my friends are all going back to their hometown and I'm gonna be a little bit lonely if I stay in Seoul like last week one of my professor because of that class so I I can't have enough time to go back to Taiwan so I was about to give up then um, she told us that she are going to cancel the class because she had things to do that means my holiday will be longer since she canceled the class it will become like two weeks and she'll doing the makeup class like in the end of the semester and then yeah I have a two weeks holiday so I don't want to stay in Seoul alone like two weeks to be honest my mom know about this and my brother know about this but my dad my dad didn't know about this so he was hoping me to go back to Taiwan but I told him I won't actually I buy the ticket so I'm gonna give him a very big surprise yeah I hope he'll be surprised I am going to come back later so I'll see you guys in Taiwan and that's the reason why I'm going back to Taiwan it's kind of strange this time this semester because I'm taking all the course as my main subject and it's kind of hard yeah especially there is a class it's about Korea's tourism law and I kind of like playing the skip button when I was in class until the class end because I can't understand that also because the professor he talks too fast and I can't understand his Korean yeah I really can understand that like there's a lot of professor have their own accent but mostly I can understand it they say that I have a lot of memes like finally arrived in Taiwan and my mom says she's very hungry so she's going to eat in the food street here in the airport so after we finish yeah we'll go home it's the second day I back to Taiwan and yeah because today I only have some family meetings so I didn't do the makeup yeah it's really ugly I know and now I'm going to pick up my cousin yeah she's in She's in school, yeah. And today, my youngest cousin, he just born last month before I came back to Korea. And today is his first month, so we'll have a first month party 
for him. Yeah. So here are so many children. So many one, two, three, four, and five. So here is feeding, and there's still another one in upstate. Now I'm in my Taiwan's college and I'm I'm here I'm back to school because I have to learn something for my professor. Yeah. And then I saw something that belongs to us. Wait. Yeah, it's us. Uh, the, the poster of our graduation tour. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Germany. And here and here and here's Rothenburg. And our photos together. Here's me. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And it's spicy. In Netherlands, I miss them so much. So I, I'm here because I have to learn something, and I'm supposed to help my professor because there's two exchange students from Korea in our school for now, and their Chinese are not really well. So I'm helping them and my professor to, you know, like communicate it, and I translate for them. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm back to school and. It's you know I graduated this year and there's so many new students and I don't even know about them that feels so strange because there's no one that I knew in here it's a whole new generation but the feeling that back to school it's really good they forgot to turn off the air conditioner party time party time <laughs> so basically, yeah, I've done all the things and I'm just waiting for yeah. There's is the parking lot for the motorcycle. And it's the library or working for something. Yeah. Okay, so I finished everything and I'm on my way home now. I'm gonna go and pick up my motorcycle. Is that called pick up? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go home. And before I go home, I'm gonna go buy a very tasty, very tasty barbecue first because that's the things that I like the most, like around my school. It's very tasty. Yeah, and I'm gonna go now. These are my motorcycle. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy the barbecue and let's go back home. And tomorrow I'm gonna meet with the friends. We'll have a dinner together. So today I came to school for helping the Korean student and the professor to communicate it and also learn some of my paperwork from my Korea's college. And Today is finished. English, English. Hello. Nine monkey, Le Huang, nine monkey. Yeah. Okay. It's a famous market in Yonghe district. 